you are watching my perfect doggy. Our goal is to give our viewers our best information about every dog breed. Ever wonder what it would be like to own a certain dog? Subscribe to my perfect doggy and you won't have to wonder. Among all dog breeds, the Irish Setter is thought to be one of the most gorgeous. The Irish Setter is a distinguished dog who attracts attention wherever he goes with his vivid red coat, long silky ears, and regal bearing. The breed captures the hearts and imaginations of everyone who sees or encounters this dashing rogue because it is endowed with the usual Irish charm and playfulness. This is an excellent family companion. Independent, quite intelligent, and very eager to please. With its majestic appearance and friendly nature the Irish setter has become popular beyond the Emerald Shores. Today my perfect doggy will be counting down the top 10 facts of the Irish setter. And we will be answering the most popular question asked about this dog. So make sure to stick around. Could this be the right dog for you? Before we start my perfect doggy would like to take a second to express our thanks to all the Irish setter owners. This video would not have been possible without them, so don't forget to check out their Instagram profiles and send some love. All of their links are in the description below. Here are the top 10 facts of the Irish setter. 10. Character. The Irish setter is an incredibly friendly, intelligent, enthusiastic and loyal household pet. They get along well with strangers and small children. Due to their long history of hunting, it's crucial to remember that Irish setters have a high prey drive. Keeping an Irish setter in the same household as a smaller pet, like a cat, is therefore not advised. It is feasible to socialize your Irish setter with small animals while it is a puppy, which may enable the Irish setter to get along with other household pets. These dogs tend to be less suspicious of strangers than many other breeds. The Irish setter is not a barker and seldom vocalizes. They are therefore unsuitable as guard dogs. 9. An astonishing rise in popularity. Today the Irish setters are not particularly popular. In 2021 American Kennel Club ranked the Irish Setter as the 71st most popular dog in America but this wasn't always the case. The popularity of the breed unexpectedly started to soar in the early 1960s. Between 1963 and 1974, AKC Irish Setter registrations jumped an astonishing 1,500%. To give you an idea of this incredible jump in popularity, registrations of Irish Red Puppies went from 400 puppies a year being registered in the United States to over 60,000 being registered. The popularity of Irish Setters increased from 27th to 3rd among dog companions in America. Only Poodles and German Shepherds were more popular. Yes there was indeed a time in the United States when the humble Irish setter was more popular than the beloved Labrador Retriever. One theory for this rapid rise in popularity is the 1962 film Big Red featuring a champion Irish setter. This Walt Disney movie brought Irish setters back into everyone's hearts, further boosting their appeal at the time. In the United States the breed of dog that the president owns has a great deal of influence on the public. Even if the president himself is very unpopular. At the time President Richard Nixon had a lovely Irish setter, called King Timaho. A remarkable NBC evening news segment from January 9, 1974 depicts the dog taking a sizable slice of cake at a surprise celebration for Nixon's 61st birthday. Quick quiz. The Irish setter is loved by many celebrities but do you know how many United States presidents have owned this breed? Is it A, 1, B, 2, C, 3, or D4? Have a guess now. We will give out the correct answer later in the video. 8. Border Training Owners should be aware that, despite their love of learning, Irish setters frequently struggle with attention deficit disorder. The Irish setter is prone to getting bored during training which leads to actions that frequently go against what their owner wants. As a result, owners of this breed must be very patient and understanding. 
The Irish setter is extremely sensitive and attentive, and they don't do well with shouting or rage. If you ignore this advice, your setter will start to exhibit timid characteristics. Owners should constantly maintain their composure and employ positive reinforcement strategies like praise and incentive-based rewards. Avoiding doing the same thing every day is another way to keep your Irish setter interested in training. If these guidelines are followed, Irish setters are capable of picking up a wide variety of commands and tricks over the course of their lifespan. When training setters, you must be both patient and persistent, but never harsh, as these dogs are both physically and emotionally sensitive. They have strong memory and retain information for a long time after learning it, whether it was correct or incorrect. Undesirable behaviors may well be challenging to break and unpleasant handling is not quickly forgotten. Irish setter puppy raising is a family endeavor. Every member of the household needs to be aware of the guidelines they should give the puppy as well as how to give the same one-word commands that always indicate the same thing. Even if you have a large family, the pup will soon see one person as the pack's leader, the alpha, and the boss who needs to be obeyed. The one who is highly respected regularly ends up feeding the puppy. The puppy places food very high on its list of priorities. Because of this, when your puppy responds to you correctly, he receives little goodies in addition to vocal praise. Eventually the food rewards are gradually reduced as the puppy learns to comply with your commands, leaving just praise. 7. Irish Setters Breeders Breeders are without a doubt the greatest source for buying an Irish Setter. You can interact with your Irish Setter before you buy it from a breeder. This will enable you to examine the Irish Setter for any hereditary flaws and have a better understanding of its temperament and behavior. Breeders typically belong to a registered organization like the Kennel Club. A registered organization membership confers credibility and accountability on the breeder. Breeders can let you know if the Irish Setter has any problems and how they have been socializing it. Breeders can also provide you with the precise date of birth of your new Irish Setter. You should find out whether local breeders have a strong reputation with the breed in your area. You need to choose a reputable breeder that has excellent dog ethics and a strong dedication to the breed. Ask your veterinarian and possibly other breeders for recommendations before you start your puppy search so they can recommend a reliable person. Responsible breeders typically focus on one or two dog breeds. A breeder with many breeds or multiple litters at once should be avoided. Breed clubs or other dog organizations are frequently where dedicated breeders are active. You can anticipate a breeder interview when they will inquire about your expectations for the puppy, your prior dog ownership, and the type of environment you will give. Referrals to reputable Irish setter breeders of high caliber are available from the American Kennel Club and the Irish Setter Club of America. An annual breeders directory is published by the ISCA and made available online. If you have previous experience with Irish setters, you might think about getting one from a rescue facility. The majority of Irish setter from rescue shelters are free, while the shelter may just request a donation. It's crucial to keep in mind that Irish setters in rescue centers may experience behavioral or health problems as a result of their stressful life. Be ready to take on the task at hand if the dog has lived his entire life in a kennel or even a decent household without receiving any formal training. A dog who is three years old or older and has never been trained cannot be held responsible for his lack of knowledge. The dog has to unlearn many of his previously self-taught habits all while attempting to comprehend and absorb your rules. However, by getting your Irish setter from a rescue shelter, you can provide a better life for the breed than it otherwise would have. 6. History. The Irish setter's ancestry is, like that of many other breeds, somewhat obscure. It is thought the Irish setter originated in Ireland during the 1700s. The early Irish setters, were also known as Red Spaniels or Red Dogs, were frequently utilized on hunting expeditions because of their keen senses of smell and talent at finding birds. Original Irish setters were red and white, but the white color was selectively bred out. In 1812, the first Irish setter with all red fur appeared. There is little question that he is descended from the Spaniel, and images of early Spaniels tend to support this because they depict a dog with legs as long as the setters. 
It is clear that among setters, the Irish setter has the least resemblance with the spaniel but compared to his descendants today, the spaniel of the early 18th century had a considerably more setter-like build. Despite being established in the 1700s, it wasn't until 1875 that the first Irish setter, a dog by the name of Echo, was brought to the United States. It didn't take long for the Irish setter to gain popularity in the United States after showing off the dog's innate intelligence and ability as a gun dog, leading the American Kennel Club to register the breed only a few years later. 5. Intelligence The Irish setter is ranked 35th for intelligence compared to other dog breeds. According to The Intelligence of Dog, a 1994 book on dog intelligence by Stanley Corrin. Similar in intelligence to Cairn Terrier, Kerry Blue Terrier, Field Spaniel, Newfoundland, Australian Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier and Gordon Setter. This would class the Irish Setter as above average working dogs. The Irish Setter understanding of simple, new tasks within around 15 exposures, on average. Up to 25 repetitions are necessary to get a comparatively effortless performance. This group of dogs benefits from more practice, especially in the early learning stages. They typically keep habits well once they are learnt. Their reliability will depend on how much training they have had, but they will typically obey your first command 70% of the time or better. The Irish setter can be very easily trained to perform a wide range of household tasks. 4. Appearance Irish setters are large dogs, weighing between 60 and 70 pounds and standing between 25 and 27 inches tall. These canines are comparable in height to Rottweilers, Pointers, and Old English Sheepdogs, although they weigh considerably less overall. The somewhat long, silky double coat of the Irish setter is typically either red or chestnut in color. Small spots of white can also be found on the throat, chest, toes, or middle of the dog's head, though often this color covers the dog uniformly. While the breed's top coat is fine all year round, its undercoat is thick in the winter. The Irish setter has a muscular frame, and its weight is well balanced and appropriate to its height. This breed tends to be a little bit longer than tall. 3. Show Dog In the show ring, the Irish setter is a breathtaking sight. His regal bearing, graceful head, imposing build, and glossy chestnut coat instantly inspire interest and generate a sense of anticipation. Both the judge and the spectator are mesmerized by the aura that his attractiveness and strong presence generate. It is not surprising that a dog this attractive would advance from field labor to rule the show scene. Dog shows are organized in the U.S. by a number of national kennel organizations, with the American Kennel Club serving as the primary regulatory authority for dog registration and competition. Local and regional dog organizations frequently conduct informal show events and training sessions to let exhibitors adapt their young contenders to the show scene and to introduce novices to the world of exhibiting dogs. Various nations have different regulations for Irish setter competitions. For instance, an Irish setter must receive 40 green star points, including four wins of at least five points each, known as majors, to become the national Irish show champion. The number of dogs entered in the competition affects the points awarded. In Ireland, there is also a field qualification requirement for the title of complete champion. A dog becomes a champion in American Kennel Club showing by earning points in confirmation. Then he can compete in field trials and hunting tests to win further titles. An Irish setter who is a champion and earns the field champion title becomes a dual champion. Today's Irish setters rarely engage in major field competition. The breed continues to be a well-liked companion and showman but is less well-known as a working gun dog and more breeders are drawn to the show ring. Back to the quiz, if you guessed C, three American presidents have owned Irish setters give yourself a pat on the back. You are correct. Richard Nixon, Harry Truman, and Ronald Reagan have all owned Irish setters. 2. Celebs the Irish Setter is a dog that immediately attracts attention so it should be no surprise this dog is popular with celebrities. Here are just a few of the many celebs who own an Irish Setter. 
TV acclaimed dog whisperer Caesar Milon is known for working with his two pit bulls, the late Daddy and Junior. But the first dog he ever owned was an Irish setter. Perhaps the most famous of all celebrity owners was Bing Crosby. He was the first multimedia celebrity and one of the most well-known and significant musical figures of the 20th century. From 1926 to 1977, he held the top spots in record sales, radio listenership, and box office receipts. Another well-known actor who owned an Irish setter was Gary Cooper. Known for his strong, quiet screen persona and understated acting style. He received two Best Actor Academy Award wins, three further nominations, and an Academy Honorary Award for his professional accomplishments in 1961. More recently Gianni Versace, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Jean-Claude Van Damme have also been Irish setter parents. 1. Health. Unfortunately, like so many other pure breeds, the Irish setter has certain hereditary health problems as well as a few acquired ones. Existing and prospective dog owners should be aware of these issues because early detection and treatment of many of these disorders improves their prognosis. This video will list some of these health issues some of which are passed on to puppies by their parents and are therefore hereditary disorders and others are acquired conditions the breed is known to suffer from. Hip dysplasia, a disorder that frequently affects Irish setters, is brought on by the hip joints improper development, which normally takes place when dogs are still growing. The disorder makes it impossible for the thigh bone to fit tightly into the hip joint. Normal signs include discomfort and lameness. However, hip dysplasia does not necessarily make your Irish setter uncomfortable, as your Irish setter ages, it may turn into arthritis. Irish setters with hip dysplasia should not be bred because it is an incurable condition. However, there are numerous therapies that have shown promise in relieving pain in older dogs and halting additional damage in young puppies. You should get evidence that neither of your puppy's parents have hip dysplasia when buying a puppy from a breeder. Bloat also affects the Irish setter. The stomach fills with air during bloat, which is an extremely painful condition. Because the blood supply is frequently cut off, it is a problem that needs to be addressed immediately because it frequently has fatal consequences. Large breed dogs with deep, narrow chests, like Irish setters, are more prone to acquiring the ailment. Dogs who are bloated may exhibit restlessness, quicker or labored breathing, drooling, attempts to vomit that fail, and belly bulge. Progressive retinal atrophy is a different hereditary ailment that an Irish setter may have. The inherited degenerative condition known as PI will eventually cause blindness. An early onset or inherited form of PI, also known as retinal dysplasia, is frequently identified in puppies between the ages of two to three months while a late onset variant is commonly identified in adult dogs between the ages of three and nine years. The early onset form is frequently referred to as retinal dysplasia, and the late onset form is frequently referred to as PI. Since PI is not painful, it is rarely recognized in the early stages of development. A dog with PI typically exhibits night blindness as the first symptom. Dogs with the condition often get tense at night, may be reluctant to enter dark spaces, or may trip over objects in low light. When light shines on their dog's eyes, owners of dogs with PI frequently notice that the pupils are larger than usual and that the eyes have become particularly reflecting. The issue affects both eyes. When a dog is at home, a pet owner might not notice anything out of the ordinary, but with time they might start to realize that their dog is becoming increasingly clumsier. The first symptom in canines with the hereditary variety may just be a loss of day vision. DNA testing is necessary for owners who want to know their dog's PI status since it can accurately distinguish between normal carriers of the disease and affected canines. Along with our top 10 facts. I will try and answer the most asked about questions for this breed. A popular question people like to know about Irish setters is, are they good with children? Yes. The Irish setter is highly suitable for families with children of all ages. 
In fact, the breed often ranks as one of the top 10 best dogs for children due to its outgoing nature, gentle demeanor, and sweet loving personality. As an energetic and playful breed, children are also extremely well suited for the Irish setter as they are better suited to provide the dog with the affection and attention it desires on a daily basis. This is crucial, as the Irish setter hates to be alone and desires regular playtime with its owners. What are the most common Irish setter mixes? Well there is the Irish setter German Shepherd mix which is known as the Irish Shepherd. The Irish Setter Cocker Spaniel Mix The Cocker Setter The Irish Setter Labrador Mix called the Lab Setter The Irish Setter Golden Retriever Mix The Golden Irish And the Irish Setter Poodle Mix The Irish Doodle Can Irish Setters go off leash? Yes and no is the answer to this, it really depends on the dog not the breed. Some Irish setters are food or toy orientated and will stay nearby when off leash and come sit beside you when called. Some Irish setters are much more excitable where even experienced Irish red owners will struggle to keep calm. Can Irish setters be left alone? Irish setters can be left alone for up to two hours, but beyond that, they become prone to separation anxiety and destructive habits. It is best to train your Irish setter to sleep in a crate so that they have a cozy area to rest while you are gone. Do Irish setters like to swim? Many people believe that Irish setters are the best swimmers of all the different breeds of dogs. Since setters were required to operate in various kinds of terrain, swimming would have been an essential part of their routine for a significant amount of time. That's all folks. Thank you for staying around with us till the end. If you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And make sure to check out our other videos. Maybe we will help you find your perfect doggy. See you in the next video.